Hi, it's Ed with EHCC on behalf of TEC, and today's topic is measuring airflow with the TrueFlow grid. The items that are required to take this airflow measurement are going to be the digital TrueFlow grid. We're going to need a precision manometer. We need at least one static tip, some tubing to connect the manometer to the static tip, and we need something that gives us the ability to make a hole. The process is driven by an app. It's quite simple. As you can see in the photographs over here, uh, Steve's making a hole in the supply duct, and we're going to measure that supply static pressure. We are going to now remove the filter in the system and simply replace it with the true flow grid. And with that, it's going to record an airflow measurement. Now you might be going, well, how does it know? It's magic. All right. It's not really magic. It's math. But what we're able to do is compensate for the difference in the pressure drop across the filter and the true flow grid and apply some math to that. And what we're doing is measuring all the air that's moving through the system or would be moving through that filter is now moving through the true flow. The result from that is going to give us an accurate measurement of airflow. And notice I said measurement of airflow, not estimate of airflow. We can see here where in a filter grill application, the process is as described in the previous slide. Measure your static pressure in the supply with the filter. Remove the filter, insert the true flow, and record. Down here, it's showing it in a filter slot. So far, we've only talked about taking a reading in the supply, and we can see some other information here. What I have here is my supply measurement. But it also shows several places where I can, in this instance, we could measure the pressure drop across the evaporator coil. Uh, here to here, we could be measuring, could give us external static pressure. And if you jump all the way over to this third box, you can see where all those different measurements are being listed for us. And one of the things that I really like is that it gives us these gauges and in really easy to understand format. We got red, yellow, and green. And I don't think I need to go into any explanation of what those colors would represent. But over here in an actual printed explanation, it's gonna tell us where potential issues might lie. And obviously uh, yellow is gonna be caution. And I would say red is a uh, a range where we should be taking action. We got lots of pros and cons with this device. Uh, the biggest pro is without question, it is a very simple to use tool to measure airflow. It's again, straightforward. When we use it with the TrueFlow app, it's not only gonna measure airflow, but it's gonna point to deficiencies in the system or confirm that things are as they should be. Essentially, we can use it for grading our HVA installations, and that can be something that we desire to do on our own, but if you're doing stuff where there is a compliancy requirement, there it is, all the, you know, the big three all recognize this as a methodology. The cons, uh, you can get into some expenditures with this stuff, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that expensive. Getting used to making sure that we have an adapter so it fits in the filter slot uh, takes a little getting used to. But once you figure things out, uh, used it a little bit, that uh, comes pretty easy. There is some additional math required if you want to measure uh, total system capacity. Um, but again, that's another one of those things that's not all that difficult. And there will be a method to connect it to measure quick if you're a, a user of measure quick you know how easy it is, is to use that product this is going to be the best way to estimate airflow excuse me this is going to be the best way to measure airflow through a system bar none and with that i'm going to hand things over to bill spone from true tech tools bill's going to go over some quick tips 
and some options for tools that you might be interested in purchasing. And with that, uh, have a good day. Hope to see you soon. Thank you very much, Ed. We're going to talk about measuring airflow with the TrueFlow Good, gives you some quick tips here. So this is a very accurate method. Um, different times you might see me present, I've talked about this as my favorite method for measuring system airflow. Now, what's really exciting is there's a new digital true flow grid, uh, which makes a completely different offering and puts it at a different price point, much more reasonable for doing this kind of really accurate one and done type measurement. There's a really nice app to help you take you through the steps to a uh, comprehensive pressure and system flow analysis to better diagnose really root cause comfort and performance issues in conjunction with the DG8 micro manometer. And this is also on the roadmap for integration into MeasureQuick for MeasureQuick fans or people not familiar with MeasureQuick, you should really take a close look at that. Here's kind of the, the lay of the land here with the equipment options and considerations. And we're talking about the, the new TrueFlow grid as opposed to the historic um, air handler duct system TrueFlow grid, which uh, was in combination with the DG100 could run up to almost $2,500 in price. Now the new TrueFlow grid is $695. You have to couple it with some kind of digital manometer, some pressure and flow gauge in order to get the measurements out of it. There's now a digital true flow grid, which has the uh, pressure sensors actually built right into it, which is a unique application here, really enhancing the uh, facility of using this one device. And then the total solution, when you use the digital true flow with an additional micronometer, the DG8, uh, you do get this complete diagnosis for air handler and duct system diagnostics. Please note that these uh, products are also recognized by the ANSI and ACA ResNet standard for grading new HVAC installations, which is one of the first standards out there for grading of HVAC. AC installations. So I want to thank you for listening to this. I want to thank our partners, Steve Rogers, Bill Graber, and Ed Genowak from Tech and the Eastern Heating and Cooling Council for helping us put together this video to communicate some new information to give you a better idea about how to take these kind of airflow measurements. It's really uh, qu quite a, a mystery to some people on how to do this correctly. We just want to lay it all out there, help you make good decisions on what you do. And, and you'll note that there's different price points. The different price points are because you get different kinds of performance out of these products. So you always want to make sure that you're, you're balancing the work you put in with the price you pay for the tool. Sometimes you can put in less work when you pay more for a tool or vice versa. It all depends. So I want to thank you for listening to this little segment, Measuring Airflow with the True Flow. Tune in again next time to watch one of these videos about HVAC air, airflow measurements from the Energy Conservatory. Thank you for watching.